full moon though. So welcome back. And uh, so today we'll be continuing the lesson three. Okay, lesson three, je cherche une correspondante. So in the previous class we completed to the eighth exercise. So in this class we'll be continuing with uh, the ninth exercise. Okay, so we'll be completing the four exercises till the twelfth one. Yeah. So <coughs> so please take notes. Uh, so yeah. So this is the exercise that we saw in the previous class, right? The eighth exercise posed the question. I right? hope you copied the answers correctly. Right? So now we'll start the ninth exercise, which is répondre. So you got to answer these questions. Right? Qu'est-ce que vous cherchez? Okay. So what are you searching for? So you can write uh, in your own. Okay. So no need to uh, copy what's written. Or you can even copy like what's given in the answers. Okay, so if you want, you can write on your own. So if it's like simple, if you think the your answer is simple, you can just write that. So if it's meaningful and if it's grammatically correct, so we'll award you marks. There is no issues in that. So qu'est-ce que vous cherchez? So what I've given in the answer is je cherche une correspondante. All right. So the lesson setting itself, I am searching for a French, I mean a pen friend. So you can even write, je cherche mon portable, je cherche mon sac, right? je cherche uh, mon père, right? and so on. So the second one, tu connais un acteur français? Tu connais un acteur français? So the question is an intonation. Yeah, so tu connais un acteur français? So which means you know a French actor. Donc, uh, so the answer will be with oui or no. Okay, so if it's an affirmation, then you say oui. Je connais un acteur français. Okay, or you can even change this to plural. Oui, je connais des acteurs français. Okay, I know some French actors. Right, so if you're going to write a negation, so then you'll be saying, no, je ne connais pas d'acteur français. Right, je ne connais pas. So, and un changes to de normally uh, in negation. And as acteur, it starts with a vowel. So we'll be using the apostrophe, right? The apostrophe, acteur, then français. No, je ne connais pas d'acteur français, right? So c'est, qu'est-ce qu'ils écoutent? Qu'est-ce qu'ils écoutent? So qu'est-ce que means what, right? So we'll be using this in another exercise, in an upcoming exercise. So qu'est-ce qu'ils écoutent, which means what are they listening to? Okay, what are they listening to? Right, so ils écoutent, they are listening. So ils écoutent uh, de la musique, you can write. So they are listening to some music. Or you can even say ils écoutent la radio. Right? Ils écoutent le professeur. Okay, so you can write whatever you want. So the answer should start with like ils écoutent, right? Ils écoutent uh, la radio, par exemple. Right? Donc de, où elle habite? Où elle habite? So where is she living? Right? Donc, où elle habite. So, same way like, où habitez-vous? Right? So, this is où elle habite. Where she lives. Right? So, you can just write whatever you want. She lives, in, she lives in Chennai. She lives in Paris. She lives in Marseille. Okay? So, elle habite à. So, the preposition à is important as we're going to say a city. Okay? So, we'll be using à. If you're just going to say a country, for example, she lives in China. Right? So, then you'll be saying elle habite en Chine. Right? En Chine, à Beijing, for example. Okay, or you can just mention a city and that's over. That's enough. So, the last one. Quel est ton address électronique? Right? Quel est ton address électronique? Which means, what's your email address? Okay, electronic. Okay, so that's electronic. Electronical mail. Okay, so that's what this means. Okay, electronic. Uh, address électronique. So you can just give like mon address electronic. Okay, so tone changes to mon. Mon address electronic A. Then you give your email address if you got one. Yeah. Now we'll check the answers. Here. Je cherche une correspondante. Oui, je connais des acteurs français. Ils écoutent la radio. À la bite à Marseille. So careful, please add an accent here. So it's a bit difficult in PowerPoint to add accents. Excuse. So, à la bite à Marseille. 
you can write any city you want right then can then mon address electronic a right so mon address electronic a then you give your email address okay this is just an example yeah so we'll move to the next exercise and uh, so we'll be saying les adjectifs qualificatif in the upcoming exercise you got to complete with the adjectives and the uh, same way like the colors right as you know the colors got uh, masculine uh, singular masculine plural uh, feminine singular and feminine plural so same way like all the adjectives will be having these four forms okay so in english we won't be having this problem okay so we just saying intelligent he is intelligent she is intelligent they are intelligent right so intelligent remains the same but in french so this is masculine singular this is masculine plural okay so masculine singular plural feminine singular plural yeah so as you know so the masculine singular form it's actually the default one for the adjectives okay so this is how it will be given in an exercise or something and uh, so according to the subject you got to change if it's like plural if it's masculine plural you just got to add one s right so if it's feminine then you'll be adding an e with it and if it's like feminine plural then we'll be adding a s right so here we got few uh, adjectives right so the masculine form it's charmo which means charming the plural form it's charmo right so the pronunciation will be the same charmo charmo right so the feminine form will be charmant okay we pronounce till the t and charmant again okay for the plural form so careful the spelling so we'll be adding one e for the singular form in feminine and es for the plural form okay so normally we'll be adding s for the plural same way like in english yeah but not for adjectives in english yeah so for the nouns we'll be adding s right okay boy boys so that way so second one intelligent 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 right the same form we just add s for the plural form in masculine and we add e and e for the singular form of feminine and es for the plural form of feminine right so then petit 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 yeah so the same thing happens here so petit means small yeah so as you know so grand 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 right so grand 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 as you know so this means big or grand right or even tall okay when you mention a person when you say il est grand il est grand ou elle est grande which means so he or she is tall right so brun 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 so this is actually the color right so all these two brown a blue at the colors will be just adding s for the plural form and the e and then o s brown 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 right so it is brown or even a person who has like a uh, uh, who is brunette okay then you can say brown brown right or also blue 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 so for blue the pronunciation will be the same for all the four right so but just when in the written form we'll be adding s for the plural o for the singular feminine and o s for the plural form of feminine right and then uh, so we got an exception okay so not one so we got many exception so like beau which means handsome right and beau we add an x to change this to plural in masculine and bal okay so we got a completely different spelling okay so it starts with b and uh, what up so <coughs> bal means beautiful yeah and bal this is the plural form so we can't use this for masculine and this for feminine okay so careful bo bo bal bal right so now we'll go for the exercise the 10th exercise it's actually fait l'accord des adjectifs so l'accord okay so accord means the uh, s and e or e s okay so according to the subject we got to change the adjective that's what accord means right so mes enfants sont so the adjective given in the bracket is intelligent so which means intelligent 
and as I told you, so it's given in the masculine singular form, right? So it will be always given in the masculine uh, singular form, right? So maison form. So if you see the subject, uh, first of all, you got to check if it's like uh, masculine or feminine or singular or plural, anything. So this is plural, first of all, and the word enfant is masculine. So this is masculine plural. <coughs> when it's masculine plural, so as you know, so we'll be just adding s here. Yeah, so masculine plural, we just add s. So second one, al écoute win dash chanson. So the adjective given in the bracket is beau. Okay, so beau, which means good or handsome. Yeah, so but actually here we are talking about a song. Chanson means a song. So which means uh, beautiful, okay, or good. Okay, so uh, but the word chanson is feminine and it's singular. Okay, here you can see it's given win. Okay, so win chanson, which means it's uh, feminine and singular. Okay, so what will be the adjective for uh, the feminine singular form of beau? So that is bal. Okay, B E L L E. Elle écoute une belle chanson. Okay, she listens to a beautiful song. Okay, C, the third one. Nous habitons un beau quartier. And so the adjective given it's beau. Okay, so this is given in the masculine singular form. And here what we got is quartier. Quartier means a locality or an area. Okay, so quartier, uh, which is masculine. And you got uh, un, which means it's singular. Yeah. So nous habitons un beau quartier. So we don't change anything. We just write the word beau as it is. Okay. You just remove the bracket. Yeah. Voilà. <coughs> and the last before one, elles sont vraiment charmantes. Right. So charmantes is actually the adjective, which means charming. So they are really charming. Right. So vraiment means really or truly. So, if you see the word, uh, the subject, al, so this is plural and this is feminine, obviously. So, okay, we got to write the feminine plural form, which means you got to add a, first of all, which is because it's feminine. Then you got to add an s, because it's plural. Okay, elles sont vraiment charmantes. Right? So, last one. Nous regardons win. Nouveau pièce de théâtre. Right? So, nouveau pièce de théâtre, which means a drama. Right? So, we are watching. Okay, we are watching a new drama. Okay, so nouveau, it's actually new, but it's given in the masculine uh, singular form. And when you change nouveau to feminine singular, okay, so the same way like beau, nouveau changes to nouvelle. Right? N O U V E. In the place of EAU, you'll be adding double L E. Okay, nous regardons une nouvelle pièce de théâtre. So we are watching a new drama. So now we can check the answers. Voilà. Mes enfants sont intelligents, vitesse, belle, the feminine form, beau, as it is, charmante, the feminine plural form. And nouvelle, okay, so feminine singular, nouveau, nouvelle, same way like beau will be doing. Now we'll move to the next exercise, so the 11th exercise, mettez les phrases suivantes au négatif, okay, so as we already saw negation, so uh, we got to change the sentences, okay, uh, in negation, these sentences are in affirmation. So, Sébastien cherche un emploi. So, there are two things you got to keep in mind. So, that is ne and pas. Okay, so whenever you're changing a sentence to negation, so ne, pas will be applied. Okay, so in English, we just add don't. Okay, or is not. Okay, so the not or don't will be used. Okay, in French, it's ne and pas. So, which will be placed before and after the verb. So, Sébastien ne Charge pas. Okay, so this is the verb. You got to find the verb first. Then you got to uh, put the ne and pa. Okay, so ne will be before and pa will be after. So, and one more thing you got to be careful with the negative sentences. 
it's actually the indefinite articles or the article contract du de la de l'apostrophe or de yeah so whenever you got a uh, indefinite article or du de la de l'apostrophe de in a sentence which are changing to negation so it will be changing to d e okay so it will be like sebastian ne cherche pas d'emploi so d e normally but here we got a vowel so we use d apostrophe okay so sebastian is not searching for any job okay so sebastian isn't searching for any job okay so or isn't looking for any job okay so it'll be changing to any okay sebastian ne cherche pas d'emploi right so the emploi the spelling will remain the same so second one b arnaud va en france so arnaud is going to france so we just got uh, the verb we don't have un win b or du de la de l'apostrophe d okay so that's the thing you got to uh, notice okay so if you got the indefinite article or the du de la so please make that change okay if not the sentence will be wrong yeah so arnaud ne va pas en france so actually the verb uh, aller is conjugated here okay so va it's actually the verb aller okay so arnaud ne va pas en france okay so c'est vous comprenez bien le français okay so you understand french well or very well okay so here the verb is comprenez okay so we will be adding vous ne comprenez pas bien le français okay vous ne comprenez pas bien le français so they and uh, so careful with this kind of sentence uh, in which the verb at is conjugated so whenever a sentence uh, in which you got the verb at and then you got an indefinite article right? so we don't change this to d yeah so set wind flower it's a flower so when you change to negation you'll be saying like uh, it's not a flower it's not a flower so we won't be saying it's not any flower right so the er uh will be the same in english okay so same in french you'll be doing so c apostrophe changes to c e then this is the verb we'll be applying uh, n apostrophe because this here is a vowel ce n'est pas okay after est we'll be using pas ce n'est pas une fleur une fleur remains the same ce n'est pas une fleur it's not a flower so the last one ils ont un enfant ils ont un enfant so the verb avoir is conjugated here and uh, so careful so it's not the verb at only for the verb at we don't change this for avoir, we will be changing this an to the. And here we got a vowel. So it will be d apostrophe. Right? Il, no, n apostrophe. Okay, we won't be using n e here because o is a vowel. So n apostrophe, il, no, pas d'enfant. Okay, they don't have any children. Okay, they don't have any child. Right? So il, no, pas d'enfant. Right? So now we'll check the answers. Careful when you copy the answers. Okay. You can just pause. Okay, and then you can copy. So the no and pa is given in blue. Yeah. So and the changes, the D apostrophe it's given in red. So that you got to be careful. And so here we don't make that change. So we are given in green. So the other things which are in white uh, can be copied from the question. Right? Merci. So we'll move to the next exercise, which is uh, okay. So we got the verb adore and deteste, or aimer or deteste. So aimer bien. Okay. So when you got one plus, okay, it's just aimer bien. Okay. So which means I, I like uh, uh, something more. Okay. So just aimer and aimer bien. Okay. If you just say j'aime uh, Paris. Okay. Uh, so if you say j'aime bien Paris, which means something you like more than like the verb just aimer. Okay, so for example, uh, j'aime Chennai, j'aime bien Pondicherry. 
okay so it's like comparison okay which means i like pondicherry more than chennai okay because we are using bian right so ma boku this is more than ma bian or ma okay so ma boku jam boku uh, pari right so jam boku pondicherry okay then it means like i like pondicherry a lot or very much right so and the extreme one okay so it's adore okay so the word verb adore it means to adore okay which is more than ma boku or ma bian or ma right so adore so we don't use boku or bian with adore it's already in the extreme form right so adore so when you got uh, three pluses okay so all this means like you like okay so something positive and when you hate something when you dislike okay then you will be using ne pas aimer okay you just say i don't like okay je n'aime pas chennai right uh for example oui je n'aime pas du tout okay so je n'aime pas du tout uh, delhi for example okay for example je n'aime pas du tout delhi oui and uh, so the extreme same way like they adore we got to hate the verb détester so which means i hate okay je déteste uh, la chine for example oui donc uh, je déteste and du tout here ne pas aimer du tout which means at all okay i don't like at all yeah so voilà so when you use the verb détester it means you hate it to the core okay so you hate it yeah so now we'll go for the exercise so this exercise it's a bit big yeah so the 12th exercise fait leur parler d'après les indications données so it means you got to make these sentences uh, this is actually an example so you got to make this a meaningful sentence according to the indications given indications here, here you see the minus okay the plus and so on right uh, so example so they have given a subject okay je so then they are given le chien then they got a minus sign okay so which means you got to say i uh, one minus is given so if you got one minus you just got to use the verb uh, aime in negation je n'aime pas le chien okay je n'aime pas le chien and then uh, you got to continue with uh, me here but okay i don't like dog but uh, i like cats a lot okay so because there are two plus okay which means you got to use aime boku yeah so in the previous slide we saw right okay so aime boku which means two plus yeah adore it's three plus you got to remember this right and uh, here we go again so le chat okay so je le chien moi which means uh, je n'aime pas le chien mais j'aime beaucoup le chat that's how you got to make sentence okay here the example je n'aime pas le chien mais j'aime beaucoup le chat oui so uh, so the first one a il le pop okay so first you write uh, before the comma okay so you just write il then you check the plus okay so you got two plus so which means you got to use ils am beaucoup oui ils am beaucoup le pop oui ils am beaucoup le pop mais okay so, so this word it's important so in order to connect the two sentences you'll be using me okay so me so again you got to conjugate the verb okay so but you got to check the minus symbols il nam pa du tu okay because when you got two minus you'll be using uh, ne me pa du tu okay so me il nam pa du tu la musique carnatic oui so we'll go to the next one ma mère so le café plus okay so ma mère am bien le café mais ma mère or you can even change to elle mais elle déteste we got three uh, minus so elle déteste le thé okay so actually an accent will be there please copy it from your book okay so le thé 
So say Vijay Ador. I guess you got three plus, so we'll be using the verb Adore. Vijay Ador le cricket. Mais il déteste le football. Oui. So Vijay adore le cricket, mais il déteste le football. So fourth one. Nous aimons bien la poésie. Nous aimons bien la poésie, mais nous n'aimons pas du tout le théâtre. Oui, nous n'aimons pas du tout le théâtre. Last one. Elle aime bien le professeur d'histoire. Actually, so the last sentence is a bit wrong. Okay, so the question itself is wrong. So we'll just write the answer. Okay, so then later uh, we can check. Yeah. So elle aime bien. Okay, elle aime bien le professeur d'histoire, mais elle adore le professeur. And the continuation is not given. Yeah. So normally you got to write elle adore uh, le professeur de maths or le professeur de français, right? something like that, right? so because it's incomplete. Right? So now we'll check the answers. Voilà. So, ils aiment beaucoup le pop, mais ils n'aiment pas du tout la musique carnatique. Ma mère aime bien le café, Mais elle déteste le thé. Vijay adore le cricket, mais il déteste le football. Nous aimons bien la poésie, mais nous n'aimons pas du tout. Le théâtre. Elles aiment bien le professeur d'histoire, mais elles adorent le professeur. And here you can just complete with the math or something. Oui, elles adorent le professeur de math. Oui. So we'll continue the remaining exercises in the next class. Okay. So we'll be having the 13th exercise. Yeah, so we'll complete till 12 for now. Okay. Merci beaucoup.